hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching one of my videos make sure to hit that subscribe button so in this vlog we are in Sedona Sedona, <laughs> Sedona Arizona um, I came here I think like a year and a half ago and it's just such a beautiful place. It's super spiritual and like healing and there's so many hikes you can do. It's just gorgeous out here. So Paige and I decided to have a little like besties trip out to Sedona. Yes, I've never been, but I'm really excited to explore it. Yeah, and we just, we're gonna try to go to like all the seven energy vortexes out here. Um, we're gonna go on a few hikes. We're gonna go just downtown and explore, go to all the shops. Uh, yeah, we're really excited. Um, today's our first day here. We're gonna grab some breakfast really quick and then we are going to head out to the first vortex. And then the reason why we're so excited to visit the vortexes here in Sedona is because we went to, a couple years ago, we went to a vortex in Casadega, Florida and we wanted, and they're connected, so we wanna see like how we feel and how it compares to the other one in Casadega because Casadega is like more like spooky yeah. and like Halloween-y. So we've, and we've heard that the one in Sedona is like a little more, more healing and it's like more energetic, like you yeah. feel more energy. It's yeah. like more lighthearted. So yeah. we're gonna see if that's true, like how we feel. I've heard like uh, the other vortex, like there's seven of them and we heard that each one is, like, could make you feel different. So we're just gonna like, compare. Also, as far as we know, there's only one vortex in Casadega, but there's like seven or more here. So there's a lot more here, which is really cool because that's just like a lot more energy. Um, and you know, it's just interesting to go and see how we feel like Paige said. And yeah, we're really excited. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Look at this car. I rented the cheapest car, like $18 a day, Toyota Corolla or something. When we got there, they were like, do you want the Challenger? And I was like, yes, I want the Challenger. Look how perfect this is. And it matches my fit for the day and my sunglasses. We just got to our first vortex and it is the Chapel of the Holy Cross. I think it's like 0.1 mile hike up there. It looks really easy. It's like pretty much like just an observatory. Um, and Paige Googled it and it said, this is one of the strongest vortexes here. Um, you're supposed to feel like a connection to the Holy Spirit yes. and also feel like what was it? It was like love, like you're supposed to feel like harmony, love, unity, and oneness. Yeah, so yeah. let's go. We just got to Bell Rock Pathway Trail. Um, this is our second vortex of the day. And Paige did some research on all the vortexes. So tell us a little bit about this yeah. vortex. So this one, it's supposed to help you feel like more connected to yourself and the people around you. And it's supposed to help you like gain new perspectives and to like really look inward. Kind of grounding. Yeah, more grounding, I'd say. Yeah, let's go. Hmm. So it takes your picture, but it's really getting your readings from here. Um, 
biofeedback. It, it measures your energy. Are you guys familiar with auras? Yes. Okay. So, who else can you do? down. It's just to get full contact with you. Know, We just got, okay, let me just tie this right. So we stopped at a random restaurant because we were just so hungry, we needed to eat. We were like, let's just stop here. The traffic was so bad. Mm -hmm. And we're sitting at the restaurant and we see a store across the street and it said free chakra testing. So we're like, oh, we should go there afterwards. So we go, we walk in, the lady's super nice. She does free chakra testing on our bodies to see like what chakras need to be worked on, what crystals we could get to like help that. And then we saw that she had aura readings. So we've been wanting to do that. We've been like looking around to find a good price, like a good place to go. And we're like, we're here, let's just do it. It's a good deal. The other place was like $55. This was $35 and she prints out everything, talks you through it. So it was so good. I know, like, right? And it then we was got so our, good. We got our aura photography. I couldn't find yours, but this one's mine. I think that's my back. Oh, it's back here. Back right. But the way she explained everything, like mine was bright red, orange, like, yeah. Literally, she said, <laughs> looks Look like that. a lion. Yeah, and you're a fire sign lion. <laughs> yeah, and she said a lot of activity, a lot of movement, passion, drive, and I definitely have been feeling that way as of recently. Oh yeah, she said I had a lot of like green and like yellow. You can't really tell here because of the saturation, but she was just like, yeah, you're in a transitional phase right now. Like you, you like, like animals and plants and you have like a balance like energy. And I thought it was crazy because Brianna loves to wear red, and then I'm hers so is red. And then I, because mine has some green and like yellow, and I love to wear green, so I thought that was yeah. interesting. Yeah, it was so cool. Definitely recommend going. She was so genuine and kind, and I feel like that's kind of almost rare in a lot of places like that because I feel like it attracts like a lot of like scans and all that. So yeah, that's like a an amazing find for sure. We just got to the airport vortex and I actually, so I've been to Sedona once before and this is the vortex I came to. Um, and I FaceTimed Paige when I was here and I was like, you need to come. And now look, we're here together. I'm so excited. We just started the trail. Um, so we'll take you guys up to the vortex. You get like a 360 of Sedona. We're gonna try to stay here for the sunset. So, see some stars too. Yeah, we're excited. probably do a few more hikes we're gonna go to this really good Italian restaurant that my friend Ashley recommended and then what were we gonna do? I don't even know <laughs> we're really tired yeah. yeah we're exhausted we did over like 12k steps today mm -hmm. pretty much and 
just ate some really good Mexican food and we're about to crash and then get up early and do it all over again. We do have a few questions though. Why are there so many roundabouts in Sedona? Literally, there's like probably 25. It's crazy. And then also, we like haven't seen one police officer. That's a good point. I forgot about that just now. Yeah, like we were thinking about it. We were like, we haven't even seen a car. Because they're everywhere in Florida. Yeah. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It's our second day in Sedona. We're about to head to the Cathedral Vortex and then we're gonna go to Boynton Canyon for a hike today. Um, we kind of planned we were gonna go to lunch afterwards and then shop around a little bit, go home and change, and then go to um, dinner at this really nice Italian restaurant and then we're gonna try to go back to the airport vortex for sunset again and then stay out to see the stars if possible just because it's like so dark out here and I feel like the stars would just be like so pretty to see um, but yeah I don't know anything we just got coffee and we went to the rose vortex cafe and it was really yummy we got avocado toast I got a lavender latte and then I also got this it's um, a green butterfly matcha um, drink. It's really good. And then you got, and I got I got a rose latte. Yeah. And hers, I haven't tried it, but it seems yeah. <laughs> she seems to like it. Yeah. We are at Boynton Canyon. We're heading to the vortex. We're taking Boynton Canyon Trail down to Boynton Vista, I believe it's called, and then apparently you're supposed to take that trail to the dead end, and that's where the vortex is. It's a very, very hot day, and it's very pretty. Paige was looking up the rocks, like the history on the rocks here in the mountains, and she said they were like, how old? Yeah, like 14 or 15 million years old. I can't even comprehend that. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. But it's a very beautiful day and we're very excited. This is our second to last vortex to visit on this trip. So hopefully it's a good one. We're in the shade too. Okay, last vortex, the cathedral vortex. It is 1.2 miles out and back. Um, so it should be like maybe 20, 25 minutes more or less. Um, it's our final vortex, our final hike, and we're very sad, but excited to do it. Mm -hmm. And this trip has been so much fun. I know, right? Aww. <laughs> Guys, this one is our dark. It's like literally straight up this. We're a little out of breath. <laughs> but it's very beautiful. I made it. Now I have to get back down. My sunglasses. They're waiting for me. Here's the fit. I like the colors because it definitely goes with like the desert vibe. 
Here's Paige's outfit. So cute. I love the colors. Look how cute. Thanks, Green. Aww. We just finished dinner and we decided to come back to the airport overlook because we wanted to um, try to stay out here when it gets dark so we can look at the stars. Mm -hmm. And so we're pretty much about to do a hike. This is what we're hiking in. to go but we had so much fun and we made so many memories so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy peace